Today we're taking a look at a very unique product that can come in handy when you need purified water or anything else. This unit uses an electrochemical reaction to convert water with salt into a sanitizing liquid called hydrochlorous acid. Not hydrochloric, but hypochlorous. This type of device is sometimes you called a chlorine generator, so let's check it out. All right, folks, welcome back. So you guys have been with me for a while. You might remember me doing this uh, this device before, but I figured since at that time I had 80,000 subscribers and now I have over 140,000, I may want to do and revisit this because I think this is a really valuable tool for a sterilizing solution that sort of acts like bleach but isn't and an easy way to do it with a low level energy, okay? So this is an electrolytic disinfectant or bleach-like substance generator. It uses a process called electrochlorination. So we've all been told about the dangers of storing bleach for long term. It just doesn't last well. I think it's like two months, uh, six months to two years and you're losing about 20 to 30 percent of its effectiveness. That could lead to trouble if you're using it to disinfect things or disinfect water or any surface. So this little unit right here kind of incorrectly says it's a bleach generator, but it's more of a disinfectant generator that takes salt and regular tap water and turns it into a disinfectant solution. Now, there's a little bit of difference in what bleach is and what this is, but it's a very similar solution to bleach, which produces a product called hypochlorous acid. And that's not hydrochloric acid. It won't burn through your hands. It's hypochlorous acid. It's a bit of a different acid, or HOCl is what it's called. It has similar chemical compounds to household bleach, but that's where the similarities end. Hypochlorous acid is produced from electrolyzed salt water, which means the solution is made up of a non-corrosive element you get from the electrolysis of salt water and the hydrogen, oxygen, chlorine together, and they form an active ingredient called HOCl. It's pretty much a weak acid that is produced naturally in your body by your white blood cells to combat pathogens inside of you. So in contrast, sodium hypochlorite, which is bleach, okay, when combined, you get an instant reaction between the two forms of chemical compounds, and it isn't safe to be inhaled or to apply to skin or anything like that. Now that said, we've always put a couple of drops of bleach in water that we've been storing to purify it, and that's fine. You can't drink straight bleach, and I wouldn't drink the stuff that this stuff generates either, okay? But it's about concentration. A couple of drops of bleach in a couple gallons of water that you're going to store for a few years is okay. It sanitizes it. Same with this. But I wouldn't drink it straight out of that container once we make it today. So let's talk about how this really works, all right? When table salt here, it's an ionic compound known as sodium chloride, when you dissolve the salt in the water, it disassociates or splits from the sodium ions and chloride ions, okay? The chloride ions have extra electron, and well, the sodium ions have one less electron. The battery in this device acts as a pump, which helps pump the extra chloride to the hydrogen ion in the water. So it creates that, that product from that using the battery there, or the device there, I should say. Now, I know this is going to start sounding a little bit like a chemistry lesson, but it's a really simple process. The chloride ion is now a perfect number of electrons, and it becomes the chlorine we know and utilize, while the hydrogen atom is now with perfect electrons and escapes the liquid. So what's left is sodium hydroxide solution with chlorine dissolved in it, okay? Now, it's gonna look and act like bleach, probably smell like bleach, but it isn't bleach, so remember that, okay? Now, because you're generating hydrogen gas when you're doing this, okay? When, you, when I put this in here, you're gonna see bubbles form. That's hydrogen gas. You do not want this around flame or fire. And I do have my little heater going on over there with those little things, so I'm gonna be putting those out before we start this. The chance is very remote that anything will happen, but we don't wanna run the risk. Uh, because you're generating, we don't want another. Because you're generating uh, hydrogen gas, we don't want another Hindenburg on my table here. And the, the, the pop from it would be enough to break that glass. It's a, it's a pretty profound little explosive thing. So with this, you're not going to have to stockpile a bunch of bleach. You're just going to have to have a unit like this, a power source for it, which I'm going to be using a, a power station from uh, Blue Eddy. And uh, we're going to go and try it out and see how this thing works. You could use a power bank, too, or a little power station, whatever. A little power pack, I mean, if you want. So we're going to set this thing up and see how it works. So let me put the power station in play here. And i got to put a little bit more water in there to get it up to two cups. And I'll show you the formula of what we're using. Now, the kit will come with some test strips, which we're going to use today. I don't know if they work or not. I've never tried them before. My other kit didn't come with it. Instructions, of course, the unit, and this here, which is the perfect amount of... A measurement for the salt you're going to use depending on how much you're going to make in other words two cups is going to be five spoons like a half a quarter of a cup would be a one spoonful 
So it's the perfect amount of measurement there for what you're gonna do. Now they're gonna tell you to use two grams of salt, which is one spoon, with a pre-measured spoon and 100 milliliters of water. That's about a quarter cup. That's not really a lot when you think about it, but when you think about there's what you're gonna do with it. You're gonna dilute it and use it to clean. Maybe you're gonna use a dropper and drop some in water. That's more than enough to get you started. Plus you don't want it sitting around because it's gonna go bad too. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna make two cups, okay? So what we're gonna do is take two cups of water and five spoons of salt. So that's how we're gonna do it with that, okay? I'm gonna put this together while we're talking here because I'm gonna put these in. So basically you're gonna make one level spoonfuls here and I'm just gonna level this off with my instruction manual here. That's one. And then you're gonna to wanna to mix it up a little bit. Two, three, that's level, four, five. So let me get a stir, we're gonna mix that up, and then we're gonna put the device in and see how it works. So as you can see, I'm doing a pretty good job getting it in there. You don't need to fully dissolve every last little drop, but it will work pretty well for this. You just give it a good spin. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in here. You don't want to run this outside of it because it will do damage to it. You just want to drop it in there. And I know this seems really contradictory to everything we've ever, ever told. Don't put anything electric inside water. Okay, I'm going to turn on the DC. And let's see that going here. There we go. So you're starting to see bubbles, okay? That bubble, those are, those are hydrogen bubbles. So you don't want those to be anywhere near fire, okay? So we're gonna give this about five minutes. They say it takes about five minutes for this with five, uh, five teaspoons of salt. And I don't know if you can see it really close. What I'll do is I'll run the camera in close for you in a second here so you can see what it's doing. And there it goes. It is generating away. You can see the little bubbles coming off it as well as the big bubbles every once in a while. You can see the little stream of bubbles. And it's creating the chemical reaction right now to turn this into a sanitizing solution. So we're gonna give it five minutes. It's 9.33 in the morning. We're gonna give it five minutes, bring you back and see how it works with a test strip. All right, so it's been about five and a half minutes because I got busy playing around with ham radios on the other side of the room there. So we're gonna try it out and see. I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, and unplug it. And I'm just gonna pull that out so it's not in the way. Now, the test strips. I don't know if they'll work or not. I have no idea. I've never used these test strips before. But what they're going to do, you're going to tear one off and drop it in there. And the darker it comes, the darker it becomes, the better your solution is. So the higher concentration, the darker. So let's try it out. Wow, yeah. And I can actually smell bleach in the air here. So it definitely did its job because you can see that is much, much darker. Put it up against my hand there. Yep, and that smells like bleach. So you could take something like that and stick it into a spray bottle, put a little water in it to dilute it, use it to clean surfaces. You could take a dropper and put a couple of drops of that in your water. Excellent way to store some kind of sanitizing solution that isn't going to go bad on you in six months, like bleach will. If you want to sterilize something, like let's say I wanted to sterilize this, I'd just sit that in there for 10 minutes, fully immersed of course, and pull it out and it would be perfectly ready to go. You can wipe it down with 5% sodium hypochlorite, or I'm sorry, 0.05% sodium hypochlorite. Okay, you can spray it. And also, two, a couple of tips here. Never use a metal container for this. It won't work as well and it'll cause problems. You definitely want to use glass or something see-through. Plastic works fine, but you don't want to use a metal container. Your input power for your USB should be between 1 and 2 amps. That's why I took this. This is 2.4 amps. So you saw we got a really good reaction there. Now the solution will be good for seven days, so again, don't make too much of it and waste it, but you got seven days to go there and make something out of that and use it for something. I'm actually gonna be using it to sterilize some water that I put away, and it's good to go. So I'm gonna put a link down below to this device here, and it will come with the test strips and all that other fun stuff, and as you can tell, it's even getting darker now. If I can get it up off here, there we go. And just a programming note for the channel. Um, if you don't see a video from me tomorrow, I'm going to be going to CES. We're going to be taking a look at some of the newest stuff of all the solar generators that are out there, the power stations from Blue Eddy and a bunch of other companies. So I'm going to be driving into Vegas to go to CES. So if you don't see a video from me tomorrow, that's why. It'll probably be up later in the day, like nighttime. My time here on the West Coast. So it'll probably be up later in the day because I got to go in, go through all that, maybe eat some lunch, come home, edit videos. So if you see it, it'll probably be later. If not, you'll see it Wednesday and Thursday. I'm going to shoot as much video as I can within one day, a reasonable amount of time. So if you don't see me there, that's why. And don't forget, I, like I said, this link will be down below. Where you can pick these things up. I would give this a good shake out, you know, shake it out to clean it and dry it off because you don't want all that stuff sitting in there. 
corroding the element. Eventually, that element will corrode. You know, it's just part of life. So you want to buy two or three of these. They were fairly inexpensive. They're $13.59. So $13.59. And there is a 5% Amazon coupon promo there. So you tick the box under the price. That's not something I control. So if you're watching this video a year after I made it and it's not there anymore, there's nothing I can do. This is just something that I thought I'd bring back to you guys and let you see because I think this is really, really handy to make yourself, you know, what, two cups of sterilizing solution there that I can use for pretty much anything. So they say to take this in a bottle, seal it up. It's good for seven days after that. Um, generally, I'd probably make this as I'm doing whatever I'm going to be doing. Like if I had a bunch of water out here to sterilize, I'd make this solution here, use it up, and maybe toss the rest. I wouldn't even bother to store it because I'm not going to be using it again in seven days. So anyway, the link will be down below. There is a link also in my Amazon affiliate store. If you guys haven't checked out the affiliate store yet, no need to buy anything in the store. Just use the link and shop on Amazon as you always would. Although I do have a lot of my gear and stuff in that store that you can check out. So definitely check it out. Um, you can even bookmark the link and use it to shop on Amazon. It doesn't cost you anything extra and it really helps out the channel. We have our freeze-dried wholesalers link down below. Now I have a huge order coming in. So we're going to give you some more stuff to look at. But I also have some items that we're going to be doing a promo on coming up around the 15th. So if you're interested in getting some deals off on that, definitely subscribe to the channel. Check it out. My link will save you 15% regular time. If you want to go there today and buy some stuff, click the link. It'll save 15%. Our My Patriot Supply link, that's preparewithiridium.com. Awesome deal on a four-week kit. We got $60 off that kit. You got four weeks worth of food. And lastly, our Thrive Life freeze-dried food store. I thank you guys for watching and hanging out with me and doing a little experiment today. Stay safe and stay prepared.